Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here today and share another fun little machine quilting video. Today I'm going to be machine quilting this really fun curl design. I love this design. It's a great free motion design and it's just kind of more of a whimsical, you know, I like to use this on whimsical quilts. I've used it as background fillers. I've used it in sashing and today I'm using it in my border. Now I'm going to be doing all of my quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine. This is hand guided quilting and I am going to be stitching in the stitch regulated mode with my stitch length set at 12 stitches per inch. Now the quilt top that I am quilting on here is a really fun quilt. This is the class sample from my brand new class coming October 1st called Let's Stitch Foilage Quilt Blocks. In this fun class, I'm going to be teaching you 12 awesome ways to machine quilt the foilage quilt blocks. It seems like the perfect block, the perfect fun little class for fall. I'm really excited about this design. Now, as I'm stitching, you will see that I'm going to be using a high contrast, actually kind of a peach color of thread here. It creates a lot of contrast and it stands out and looks really beautiful here on the top. One other thing, I am using one layer of the Quilter String Poly Deluxe Batting. I love the texture with that batting. All right, friends, enough talking. Let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. As I'm stitching out this fun design, you'll see that I do stitch right back over my original stitch line often. But what I really want you to notice here is that there's a lot of places where I'm not stitching right back over my stitch line. And there's a couple of reasons for this. As I'm stitching this design, kind of the thought process that's going through my head is almost like creating some type of a ribbon that's curling around. Also, if I try to stitch right on top of my previous stitch line, I often find that it becomes a lot more difficult and my lines just aren't as smooth as I would like them to be when I'm trying to stitch right back over my original stitch line. So now that I have that down, let's start stitching some curls. As you can see here, I'm stitching kind of a little wavy line and then I stitch into a curl. When I get into my center point, I'll stop, make my needle, take a stitch in my point, and then from there I'll backtrack, coming back out of my swirl. Now I don't always go the same distance. I don't go a long ways and I don't always go a short ways. I just kind of come back to where it feels comfortable. Then from there I'll go right into another swirl, but generally I'm trying to make sure that I'm alternating the directions with these curls as I stitch them out. I feel like overall, it ends up looking a little bit better, more whimsical, if I'm always alternating my direction as I stitch these out. Now with this design, it is a really forgiving design. Sometimes I do need to stitch a little bit further, like quite a ways back down my stitch line, and sometimes I need to just stop. Like maybe I stitch myself into a point where I stop. This design is so forgiving that I can do just that. I'll just travel right along my original stitch line to where I need to get or until where I need to stop. The other really important thing with this design is trying to just kind of go random. The more random you can get, the better off the design will look. It won't look so uniform. And also one more thing, make sure you are alternating the size of these. Make some large curls and some small curls. Now when I say that, don't make huge ones that are like three inches and then some that are a quarter of an inch. Stay kind of consistent, you know, pick a size and stay within that. Maybe here, my largest one's one inch and my smallest one's a half an inch. I'm just kind of alternating size. Again, the less uniform, the better.
This is such a fun design. I hope you'll try it out on your own quilts and make sure you share your progress in our Peace and Quilt Show and Tell Facebook group. And those blocks that you can see there, those are the foliage blocks. I can't wait to quilt those blocks in my brand new class. Find all the details plus register over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. 